Hi gorgeous. Today I'll be showing you how to make ice cream bowls out of these faux letter sheets. You know you want to see how they turn out so stay tuned. So let's get started. First I trace out with my template on all of the glitter sheets. This is the back piece that will be in the back. Trace all of those out. Try to do those real quickly. Yes, I do everything by hand. Then I cut those out. As you can see, I do individually cut each piece out myself. I do know there's other tools I can use, but I just don't want to. Moving on to the top piece of the ice cream bowl, the waffle cone sheet. My little temper piece is broke, but that's okay. We make it work. We can do what we got to do over here work with what we got as you can see i did stack all of them on one sheet that's all we needed to match with each individual color for the back piece so i did five individual colors and five waffle cone pieces now that everything's cut out we're gonna go ahead and assemble i make these little slits in the back of my bows just to put the clips in between them like we did clips in as you can see me doing now. Just for quality purposes, we don't want the clip falling off. So this is one guaranteed way that your clip will always be on your bow. Now when it comes to glues, I do use a mixture between the Gorilla hot glue sticks and super glue. And all you need is a little dab for both of them. So this is my first time making ice cream bowls. I've been wanting to make them for a while, but I'm just now getting around to doing so. Quick side note, I am a bow maker. I make bows for a living. I've seen other people make ice cream bowls and their interpretation of how they wanted their ice cream bowls to look. And mine is a bit different from what I have seen. I heard a lot of great reviews about this puffy paint, so I'm going to try it out, see how it works. After I finish assembling this bow, I'll be layering the puffy paint on top of the waffle cone piece. Okay, now that we're done that, we're going to go ahead and put our little belt on. That's what I call it. I don't know what everybody else call it, but that's what I call it. A little belt to top the bow off, you know. I do go ahead and use both glues in this area to make sure I seal my um, belt on to the bow so that way it doesn't come off. Now it's time for puffy paint. Now looking back, I should have used a reference picture for this part, but I was just kind of eyeballing it. And as I was doing it, I was like, mm, it's not really working for me. I kept trying to do a little bit at a time and build up upon it, which eventually did work out. I wanted the ice cream or the icing part like dripping on mostly half of the bowl, but not covering up the waffle piece too much because I want the customer to see that it's a waffle cone piece. If you made it this far in this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you. See, I'm, I'm building it up just a little by little, starting to make it a little bit more full, adding on to each side as I feel comfortable with. Now we're starting with sprinkles. Now the sprinkles did take me a while to get the hang of it, mainly because when I drizzled it on there, most of the sprinkles were sticking up and I didn't really like that. I wanted them to like lay flat. I didn't necessarily place each one, but I did want them to look placed on rather than just sticked on, if that makes sense. I was trying to do it with my fingers. It really wasn't doing what I needed to do. I did add more. I wanted it to be full of sprinkles. I wanted it to be covered 
in sprinkles i still wanted the green to show or whatever color i was doing for each bow i still wanted the color to show but i wanted it covered in the sprinkles See, I got the tool out. I got this from Dollar Tree. Two pack for a dollar. And you see how it easily helps me manage placing the sprinkles down instead of them sticking upwards. I wanted them to lay down instead of sticking up. Now moving on to the next colors, we're trying to get this done. The green turned out perfectly, I loved how that turned out, so I'm definitely going to continue doing the rest of them one by one, making sure all of the top is covered as much as possible, adding the sprinkles, making sure they're laid down all the way. I really did start enjoying the process after a while. It does take a lot of patience. As you see your creation, coming to life it just makes me feel so happy so i've just really enjoyed this i did make this a couple of times at this point this was a while ago so i've done made like three batches of these bows and every single time like i love it they go so fast when i post them on the website so i do know that my customers love them and that's what matters the most so let's go ahead and finish these last couple ones off so you can see all of them at once. We made it to the end. Look how gorgeous these all came out. Look at that. Look at all these colors. If I had to do another color, I think I would do like a chocolate one. I think that'll be nice. That's the only one I didn't get to do. But other than that, these came out cute. Love them. Thank y'all for watching.